for some reason i'm not for some reason i'm not able to go live today so okay good evening everyone and a warm welcome to the weekly coaching with me uh, today my sister is supposed to take the session but she is in my i mean hyderabad and today she gave interview and which went really well and those people never uh, experience this kind of depth in depth session like which we usually experience in the session they experienced it and they have done many interviews and they themselves told that this is the first time they are learning law of attraction in depth okay and uh, it went for uh, like uh, seven episodes like they are going to release the videos and the suman tv is one of the biggest uh, platform it is a social media platform in the south southern part in in south india so they are they have 5 crore subscribers all put together all channels so we are going to be published our uh, this interview in the in the cha in their channel so many we are going to get many views and it's a really really big success big achievement for us i am so happy and that's why she is not able to take the session though she had taken the laptop camera everything to hyderabad but still she is outside and for some work so i am taking a today's session it's a really really uh, proud moment happy uh, happy moment for me also and because when uh, she gets like because we are all connected right nobody separate when she gets appreciation and love it comes to for me as well that's how even i have grown uh, without my sister i am no one <laughs> and uh, without my sister like i wouldn't be even sitting here i wouldn't be even talking to you it's all because of my sister so a lot of gratitude uh, to her in this occasion so it's really uh, so because whatever she said like i trusted it blindly no second thought no second question like arun sir might be knowing it like if she says something no i have to follow no second thought about it immediately that too okay that's how she made me to do it and she gave me lot of courage like uh, right now the way i am confident now it was not earlier and i was so a low self confident i was not good at communication skills i was blaming myself i was criticizing myself even then she had told me that no you just go live in the facebook you go live in the youtube you do videos let improve yourself and we be, and because as the deep uh, deep of the deeper me as a mohan is already well it is my own mind which is stopping me to come in front of the camera to talk to the people even i was not confident even though i am having a great ppt i used to spend hours and hours together to prepare a ppt to even to speak for just 10 minutes or half an hour of time now i don't need any more and she made me like that she trained me like that she coached me like that first i am becoming before i am becoming a teacher or a, a spiritual master i was a student even now i am a student of my sister so yeah, be be a student when you are learning and yes we are all our own master for some reason yes we all forgot ourselves and we have lost the track now we are learning to connect with our true self to understand who we truly are we are not just this body and mind that's when the realization happens and when that happens and you see the you get a sense of strength inner strength inner peace inner joy that's who that's we who we truly are and we have forgot that now we are learning now we have practicing it it's because yes this body and mind is a tool for us to get into that spiritual state so that we are giving a training for our body and mind and yes of course it is important to every day spend that minimum 30 minutes in the morning night 30 minutes and every saturday like one hour or one and a four coaching session and every sunday coaching session is utmost important because here we going to our perception will change immediately like yesterday i was talking to sagar he was saying though like like uh, like we speak you know usually normally we speak about the law of impermanence about the nirvana satyam but i i never thought it that one statement like law of impermanence could have so much of impact in his life in sagar's life that was a great moment for me yesterday it's kind of a festival like those who have not watched it fully uh, please do watch yesterday's recording like uh, it is like mind blowing and uh, you will like you will like, truly will experience a goosebumps okay that's how it was so please do watch the recording i would uh, request sheetal and shilpa also and uh, we have sheetal with us sheetal are you able to speak in the platform like what i would introduce to our community member sheetal is our new member sheetal are you there 
Okay. Anyhow, so let us all welcome Sheetal into our family. Okay. Traveling. Fine. Fine, Sheetal. That's completely all right. Uh, let us all welcome Sheetal into our family. Hi, Sheetal. Congratulations and welcome to the Magical Manjula family. And to know how powerful this family is, uh, please do watch yesterday's recording. It's a really, really mind uh, changing. Even I never thought this could possible. But it, uh, you know, uh, yesterday after watching, after, after listening to all of them, like even like I got transformed myself. And I'm now I'm believing more in the process, more in the community. So yes, that's how powerful it is. Even for you, Shilpa, I would request you to watch that recording yesterday's session. Please do watch. And uh, yeah, and now we are good to start with our coaching session. Uh, yes, Shilpa, Shilpa is having a question. Like, uh, <laughs> like uh, she is changing, she is working on herself. Uh, now the family members are not practicing. For that, uh, I would get answers from our existing members only. Like how... They started practicing themselves. Even they have started practicing, it has impact in the family's life also. Even they have started changing slowly. Okay. Uh, I will uh, request uh, first Karthik sir to tell uh, in this uh, platform so that how it impacted even with by start just practicing on yourself, not on the family members, but still how much it has impacted your life, sir, family. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Uh, I am practicing this law of attraction for almost more than a year where uh, I am uh, getting more positive day by day and I am more happy and energetic day by day and uh, I have reduced my sugar levels by practicing this and we have and my family members also been uh, diagnosed with a little bit of health issues which has been uh, uh, cured by this meditations and the process of given by our Majula Madam. So this has really made our life more, uh, what we call peace and joyful than before. So we are enjoying the life day to day without any uh, disturbances or so. Whatever happens, happens. We should be joyful throughout the day. That is where, where we are enjoying the life actually. Thank you so much, uh, Mohan sir and Manjula Madam for giving us this platform to change ourselves into the other way around. like how like just by practicing on yourself just by working on yourself how it has impacted your family life also uh like uh actually if you see last month my son was there actually so mm -hmm. he also started doing meditation so he mm -hmm. wants to experience live last one month he has done it actually now he's mm -hmm. doing offline so everybody in the home nowadays practicing the meditations and this water meditation i think daily uh, we are not having the water directly. Now we are doing the meditation and we are having the water where we will be curing all the health issues slow by slowly and we will not get any new uh, health issues. So it's recommended that everybody can have the water with an intention and doing a small uh, energization of water so that it will automatically, when you are taking it, will work as a medicine so that no need of again taking uh, extra medicines to our body. So that is what which I can... Uh, suggest all the people uh, in this community. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing. Uh, okay. These are the benefits of this coaching session. You will not only uh, hear from me or listen from me, you're going to listen from the members who already experienced it. Okay. And I'll come to Sagar also. I'll come to Arun sir also, because even like it has impacted Sagar life also so much. He always tells, like I still remember that in one video, he told that, uh, sir, only person whom I need to change is me. I don't have to change all the people. I have to work on myself. Once I change, everybody will change. Still, I remember that statement. Uh, yes, Sagar. Just share like your experience, like by started working on yourself, how your it has impacted your family life also. Mm, yes, sir. Uh, good evening to everyone, sir. Mm. Since uh, four months, I guess I'm practicing the law of attraction. Uh, actually, it is the law of attraction. And uh, more than law of attraction, it, it is a spiritual and uh, self-healing course also. Uh, four months ago, uh, before joining the session, uh, the situations in my life were really very pathetic. You know that uh, uh, Mohan sir has, <coughs> Mohan sir know, uh, knows everything. Uh, that relationship between my spouse and my father and me, everything was spoiled. And uh, I was strongly addicted to alcohol. Every night I was used to consuming that. Uh, since I joined this session on October 15th, I still remember the date. Uh, date. <clears throat> uh, since that, sir, my earnings are good. Initially, I was earning 45 to 50,000 per month. Right now, I'm earning 1 lakh rupees per month. Uh, that is about to relate it to my earnings. Second thing is, I have changed a lot in myself. 
and uh, that again i will say one more thing there is uh, we do not need to change anyone all we need to change to ourselves only uh, once i i noticed that uh, i have changed myself since last two months sir even my spouse and me not even having single fight also everything is going really very good sir <laughs> and uh, you know about the, my father since uh, it last one and a half month we are not having a single fight also everything is going to be good just i am maintaining my aura what uh, the phase after the morning session or the evening session i used i just uh, try to be very in peace and calm i just i do anything to maintain my peace and uh, calmness <clears throat> every time sir that is really sir in those four months <clears throat> you have changed a lot that uh, you know that the patheticness in the life and you know that uh, depression that anxiety all this all those kind of and sir especially about that uh, consuming alcohol that addiction that has gone in in first 15 days i'll share mm-hmm. that again i was just quitting alcohol uh, uh, I, i just quit my alcohol in first 15 days really very powerful sir and uh, many more new things i have learned here to give intention to the water to forgive cause to forgive uh, to self forgiveness is a different kind of thing i have learned in this session we can forgive others in words mm-hmm. even we are not forgiving them but at least we can say to them but mm-hmm. sir it is not easy to forgive yourself and uh, i have learned that sir so mm-hmm. i am really grateful to all of the power community in this group <clears throat> like uh, manjula ma'am uh, mohan sir and uh, especially arun sir also really grateful to all of you sir thank you so much sir there are many more things sir but i'll take more time to share that's why make it yeah thank you thank you so much agar uh, see more than earnings yes it is a manifestation of money is just yes, a by product yes. the biggest miracle what happened is like uh, he stopped taking alcohol and he got his wife and daughter back that is a priceless thing i would say yes yes okay and uh, uh, for me like the moment i heard that like uh, you stopped the alcohol and you got your uh, wife and daughter back uh, that was a very yes. the veriest happiest moment in my life <laughs> i really felt yes. happy and we even in the 15 first 15 days we never talked about like your alcohol issue or the problems no, sir. we no, just sir, even... focused on changing our consciousness changing our energy levels and all miracles happened yes sir this is why i would say any of you to get into the program it's not only just about the money money it's what you get uh, in terms of money is very 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 little in terms of peace in terms of joy in terms of happiness in terms of relaxation in terms of calm what you get here is unimaginable yes, and sir. focus on that yeah, focus on that inner joy and happiness that's what i have noticed in sagar's life when he started finding that joy peace within himself then he is no more looking in the outside things like such as alcohol or any other things that's why most people get addicted it's because there is some empty feeling within them there is some lack feeling they wanted to fulfill that by consuming something it could be non veg it could be some uh, alcohol or it could be anything and that only for temporary period maybe for that day that hour that uh, day or that week yes it feels so good but again we feel that again lack that empty feeling and to fulfill that again we take that we are into this loop okay and uh, sagar you stop taking non veg also just wanted to understand that's okay yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. actually uh, all my family is vegetarian but mm. I, i was the only person that i was staying in hostel and all you know that uh, so ah, i get I into see. that so mm. i brushed my dharma <laughs> but sir i quit everything sir right no i'm not doing anything ah. sir really amazing big round of applause to sagar like uh, for his transformation uh, though for us like kartik sir and sir for us like uh, it took almost one year to two years for you all of you but uh, these people like sagar shilpa everybody shilpa also like shilpa ma'am also they are experiencing lot of miracles in just you know two months three months it's been three months now i say uh, yes sagar three months right you completed three months yes it is four it's fourth month sir fourth I'll month uh, i think uh, yeah 15 days fourth month 15 days yes it is Fifteen days. Yeah, amazing, amazing transformation. I'm really, really happy. I think I would say it's a just a beginning point. Many more miracles are on the way, yes. and all you need to just focus on yourself, focus on yourself, focus on yourself. That is a first priority for you. Yes, sir. 
and when when we focus on other things and uh, this is what i've noticed that early engage like even i tell to many youngster also even i had a conversation with uh, one uh, um i had a conversation with mitra also like he was asking me um sir like how to maintain that joy and peace uh, in life i feel so happy because what usually focus on like sir how to make money how to get more success in the career uh how to have relationship but he asked me how to be more peaceful all the time sir i felt really really happy and this is what even i've noticed in my life when we are just uh make ourselves more happy peaceful everything will come but if we start living that joy and inner peace and we'll run behind the money run behind the success run behind the achievement then at certain point of time maybe it takes uh, maybe 30 years 40 years 50 years at at certain point of time every one of us will realize that no there is something missing that missing is inner joy inner peace <laughs> the, the, it will take so many years for people to realize but i'm so happy and proud that like uh, mitra has uh, realized it very at a very engaged uh, you are so blessed sir karthik sir to have uh, such a wonderful soul uh, in your family members and every one of you like shri ven shri ma'am also she only i think introduced you right <laughs> Yes, yes, we are grateful to Arun sir first of all. So he's the one <laughs> yeah, who brought us here. Yeah, Arun sir like shared all uh, this. Uh, you know, not only Arun sir has introduced many people. Like he's such a generous uh, person. Like who he introduced many people. Like even Shilpa uh, Nayak ma'am also joined uh, through uh, Arun sir only, and even you, many people, and before also many people he introduced, and uh, really, really, I'm so generous person. I think Arun sir, because of that only, you are seeing like you got your son got engaged and everything went well, and every even all your family members are so happy. What you give is get back, okay? What you give you, what you gives out, it is gonna come back to you in thousand times, not just one time, not just hundred times, thousand times. This is what we believe, and it is coming back now. It's your time to receive your share of abundance. Yesterday, this is said by Abra Mix, okay, in the meditation. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. So it is coming back, and uh, yes, just trust the process. It works. Maybe what you are practicing now, maybe you could not see the immediate results in your external reality, in outer reality. But still, the change is happening internally because yes. unless until the tree tree grows, we cannot see anything on the outer level. But the seed is growing inside. focus on that process focus on that journey then the tree is going to blossom you're going to experience a lot of fruits you're going to experience a lot of uh, benefits when you start focusing on the growing and it's all about that right like focusing on the deeper when you build all your roots deeper the spirituality is roots it gives you strong foundation for your health for your money for your relationships for your career for your business it gives you everything what you are want so focus on that focus on the process and this is what i would say to anybody just focus just focus on the process don't focus on the outcome don't focus on the results results is a by product of this process yes okay even to get uh, some in, uh, even to get some uh, result in the laptop also we need to something enter it is a process input first we need to give the input then only we can expect some output even in our life also like that it's all about uh, this input is nothing but just going within understanding uh, ourselves and it is not so easy that's why we have very very limited people here it's because very few people they love to fall in with this inward journey most of the people they like this outward journey okay achieve more more money more success yes it comes and the that coming all the manifestation is a by product of this inward journey and it doesn't mean that the other people are not able to manifest yes they are also manifesting just go and see outward like how difficult for them to achieve or manifestation for us it is so fun it is so yes. easy yes that's the difference between like who, those who focus on the inward journey and uh, the outward journey becomes easy because uh, the outward is a outer reality is a reflection of your inner reality your inner state and once you start focusing on this life is going to be beautiful i would say and uh, i'm experiencing and today uh, 
today i met my i thought of meeting my old friends uh, for, since very long today i met my school buddies so i felt so happy today and uh, they are also very happy like in that person one of the person uh, is depressed because he is not uh, meeting anybody like he lost his job uh, in the recent times and now he got the job like i think uh, two months back he got the job but he could not meet anyone he is not able to mingle with anyone today he also felt very happy like even our presence could make so much of difference in others life that's what i've noticed so yes and uh, once you start focusing i i never really experienced i never really met my friends you know uh, from last two to three years i meet very few people but today we are four of us friends gather today and we had uh, such a wonderful time then i'm uh, noticed like uh, how our life changing ourselves could impact other people lives also and he thanked me by you know just at the 720 they left uh, me at my apartment and just they left it and they they said thank you thank you so much uh, for coming us and for uh, spending the valuable time with us and we had such a good fun there and uh, i don't know really like our presence could make so much of difference in other people's life and i've noticed it and uh, yeah it's all happening it's because of the shift in the consciousness and that's the only way that's the only way to uh, impact your family members life also right now and it's okay even if they are not practicing anything if they are not following anything it's completely all right start focusing on yourself start focusing on in your energy start focusing on your vibration that it radiates to all the family members the joy the kind of joy what you feel is also other family members also also going to experience it okay now the the focus is to go within and work on yourself then it will radiate to all other people also okay that's what i would uh, suggest for shilpa for her question like how my family members i am practicing in my family members are not practicing that's completely all right initially um they may not practice they may not follow they may not listen they may not be interested all of these things are okay and it's nothing wrong like today if you saw my message like i shared in the group also i shared in the status nothing wrong nothing went wrong nothing left undone so you are at the right place just embrace yourself everything is working maybe there is a shift happening within them also because of you started working on yourself shilpa so even the, there could be a difference in them also you might have started uh, you might have noticed uh, some little changes in them maybe in their behavior or maybe be in their uh, positive attitude so appreciate that uh, small changes small improvement and definitely a lot of magic is going to happen okay sir yeah got okay, the solution sir. Yes, sir. I got my solution, sir. Okay. Uh, not just listening from me. And let us also, Arun sir. Like Arun sir would take a lot of time. I would like you to complete it in very short time so that we can focus yes. on other people also. Yes, yes sir. Arun sir, by practicing on yourself, by working on yourself, how it has impacted your entire family members? Yes. Uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, yes. Uh, absolutely true. What Mohan is telling. Uh, in fact. Uh, i am practicing alone in my home but uh, it is having a big impact in my son's life and also in my relationship with my wife and many corrections i have done which has made me and my spouse and also uh, my son uh, to get uh, binded uh, with, with me with a good bondage and good things are going on so one uh, two sharing experience i want to make one is with the family and also with the community how it has impacted to the entire community i'll share only two experiences out of uh, so many experiences i have but uh, these two are very important because it is related to water and related to one of the injury which my son had got healed in 7 days instead of 21 days uh, which doctor had proposed so he was studying in boston doing mba in us so when he was badly injured on his palm the entire palm of uh, had uh, 12 stitches where uh, blood was oozing out and he sent a video to me i was really shocked because exams are going on and he asked uh, had that he has visited the doctor and doctor has told that uh, informed that it will take 21 days because it was exactly year back in december i remember still it was a winter session and doctor uh, after getting the stitches and all luckily the veins had not been damaged uh, but uh, the stitches would be removed only after uh, uh, 21 days uh, doctor had assured and uh, Uh, have a plastic cover and everything so he sent a video then i sent to dr manjula then she told uh, uh, to do water manifestation therapy taking his permission but that was the first time in my life i healed a person of my uh, my own family and uh, 
I did water manifestation by using the guided meditation of uh, uh, Mohan, which uh, really worked miracles. In just uh, seven days, I was observing every day to send the video. So second day he sent, little bit of improvement was there. Then I started doing for almost seven days I did. And then the end of sixth day, no, completely his palm has, uh, has dried up. Dried up and even uh, a doctor had told to come uh, every three days uh, to his uh, clinic to have that dressing every three days. So on the third day, doctor was informed that yes, you are recovering very well. But the beauty is he, he has not told anything about the water manifestation to the doctor. And he was, doctor was surprised on the seventh day that uh, it was completely dried. So this was the uniqueness in uh, the customized product of uh, uh, water manifestation, which really healed my son and he could write his exams well um, with the help of the right hand. And uh, it was a miracle. And even my son was really surprised because he was not believing about this law of attraction, though he's a science student and uh, things worked out and uh, it really helped him to write the exams well. And uh, in, uh, they removed on the eighth day the complete stitches. In fact, doctor was himself surprised and shocked uh, to see what magic has happened in your life. Then he told the whole reality that uh, my uh, dad has uh, done that water manifestation and uh, it is a healing process where uh, we can instantly he uh, heal uh, over a period of time, he has told. And it uh, really, he sent me the on the seventh day and I showed to Dr. Magical Manjula that uh, it is completely healed. Even she was surprised. I put it in the WhatsApp group also. The stitches, no, it was very, 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 uh, what you call a slushy in the beginning. And uh, even that uh, stains were there. But at the end of seventh day, no, it was completely dried. Even I was surprised. There's so much quick healing has uh, occurred and it is all because of this uh, water manifestation. It's a wonderful miracle, wonderful healing process. So I always use, uh, whenever uh, something goes wrong uh, with anybody, I use this water manifestation. It has really worked well. And the second second one is I used, uh, I used, I, I was a very short-tempered man. I used to grumble, argue. I had a lot of anger in the beginning. Even uh, I have uh, argued with uh, Dr. Magical Manjula also so many times. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, we both used to fight like anything. But uh, I did not leave anybody even for the water no, in our community. I used to grumble, fight, write mails, nonsense mails to corporator, MLA, and see that the things are should be in, in under control because we are paying property tax, we are, pay, we are paying road tax, everything we are doing, we are not getting, we have the fundamental right to get water for ourselves. And there was a big, uh, what you call, uh, mafia going on. They used to take bribe, waterman used to take bribe, corporate, it will go to every person. And uh, you believe it or not, I have saved 60,000 rupees per month uh, exactly a year back, I did this uh, forgiveness meditation to uh, Waterman. I left all my ego uh, because once you leave that ego no, and start surrendering yourself uh, to the Waterman, to the uh, corporator, to the MLA, to the bureaucrats, all BWSSB, everybody ha ha have done forgiveness meditation, each one of them for at least 21 days. And the end of the 21st day, it really uh, manifested and I am getting now 40,000 liters, not only to my home every month, but for the entire community of my own um, layout, Balaji layout, where 450 homes are there, multiplied by at least three uh, children or three uh, family, uh, three uh, members uh, in a family, which is almost 1,500 people are getting uh, water without even paying a single pie. They have stopped paying now. Waterman salutes me every morning that uh, what has happened. Even, even uh, the neighbors, no, when I walk, go around the walk with my dog, uh, they tell that uh, you have changed person. You're not even grumbling. You're not even shouting. What is the magic you have done? You have got the water for the entire community. So this is what magic happens when you do forgiveness meditation. And I worked on myself. Now I'm a very calm person. I used to shout at everybody. But uh, since almost a year, I think almost nine months, after I got healed myself for uh, first six months, uh, I did not get any manifestation happened uh, for first, I think, four or five months when I was uh, severely uh, affected with so many uh, uh, cervical spondylitis, back pain, neck pain, arthritis, vertigo problem was there. And then a lot of anger, anxiety, depression, cholesterol, so many issues. I used to contact uh, physiotherapy uh, and the 17 doctors had been in my entire uh, 40 years of life and there was no sleep. I used to sleep only three hours a day. Now I'm sleeping uh, easily for five to six hours a day. And I'm very energetic. 
very lively everything has changed a lot of transformation with me in the last uh, one year and uh, have uh, i will not quarrel with anybody no grumbling no complaining and uh, even uh, manjula is surprised now that i am a changed person because i i never used to leave even manjula you ask mohan we used to fight like anything argue grumble once he has punished me severely also and this has all made me a full transformed person by working on myself uh, with self love gratitude lot of corrections are made in my own uh, my, my house with my spouse with my family members with my relatives now everybody uh, is surprised to see me in a, as a transformed person though i have not uh, fully transformed at least 80% i am a changed person now because uh, even my coworkers my my uh, supervisors in the industry where i am doing uh, uh, this prefab construction and other uh, real estate activities so lot of uh, decision making confidence has boosted Uh, decisions has been taken with uh, uh, with uh, what you call uh, determination and have given uh, and uh, even in the covid the time no uh, i have done lot of csr activities where uh, my wife used to grumble like anything because i used to leave by 6:30 in the morning even at covid time no pandemic time because i was uh, taken as a president of rotary bangalore south parade and it is my responsibility to see and serve the society so i used to leave by 6:30 and come by 9:30 night my wife used to grumble she never used to allow me until you get the swab test then because so many people are dying in our neighbor and this man is just going and easily uh, entering the slum dwellers uh, medical camp uh, donate this blood donation camp and uh, other activities and see that uh, everything goes well in the society so and i have done to be believe it or not i have done three times swab test but nothing has affected me and this was the beauty which uh, a uh, lot of people and even when my son got covid no when he went to make a visa I, he went to delhi and got covid i used to go to his hospital covid care center to his hospital uh, to um, uh, to see him without any mask i never used to wear mask in the covid time also and really my wife was also surprised and my community members were surprised that this man is just roaming here there everywhere and still uh, is not affected by covid in fact we went to malivalli davanagere chitrurga kolar mulbagal and we air lifted uh, oxygen concentrators from surat by we did not have a pie uh, of money to get that uh, uh, 37 oxygen concentrators but it really this all techniques no i introduced i gave a very strong intention when people are dying when the government is having oxygen concentrator but in chamnar nagar chamrad nagar there was a big scam and they never even gave to the patients then i took a decision in the board and i informed all the directors to raise funds from the abroad and they collected 47 lakhs for this oxygen concentrators and we air lifted from surat from the manufacturing company and we gave to all the districts covering at least nine districts including bangalore mulbagal kolar and even mohan is the witness when we came to their place kgf and mulbagal we distributed seven oxygen concentrators we gave to unani medical college we gave to vijay college we gave to kunigal uh, so many uh, we uh, we collected funds and uh, really lot of people got benefit uh, from this and we saved so many lives in covid pandemic times and i went to malavalli also there was a big gathering uh, sumalata op- uh, openly told in the tv that who and all had come there for that uh, inauguration and uh, for the, the farmers meet you know to get tested then my wife saw that in the tv and told you do that swab test and come otherwise you will be not entered in the house at all because my mother was also there and my mother in law also had come so all this no had made uh, me really uh, frustrated and anger rise but uh, manjula told to be calm whatever will happen will happen but uh, really universe has really protected me and i and she gave a very positive affirmation empowering affirmation that uh, i am divinely protected by the universe so you you chant this mantra and just go with self intention and uh, i am divinely protected by the universe and the entire family members will be protected by the universe i kept on chanting and for the past uh, i think almost one year i am not taking any medication at all so i am really grateful and thankful that my my guru is uh, spiritual healer is manjula and i have nicknamed as dr manjula because she has healed all my 17 health issues i used to have a, um, what you call uh, orthopedician a uh, cardiologist then uh, uh, this uh, physiotherapist so many doctors have really uh, made my life very miserable i have to say because i have spent more than 10 lakhs for the past uh, so many years uh, but nobody had healed to this extent 
where I am the proof and the witness. And I'm really grateful and thankful to uh, Manjula for healing all my health issues. And that raised, raised my self-confidence, uh, productivity, and uh, energy boosting. And I'm very active. And I got a lot of business opportunities where I did not have even a pie. But she made me as an entrepreneur. Uh, when I had lost the job in COVID pandemic times, and I had uh, literally uh, in the pit, uh, but she hand-holded hand -holded me at all times. And really, uh, she is a, I am blessed uh, to have abundance knowledge uh, through her. And this made me a trainer and a coach also. And I'm right in front of you. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir, for sharing. It was very long, but I'll make it very short. Uh, like, I'll conclude what he said in the last, uh, I think, 10 minutes. So uh, initially, uh, he used to like uh, the first case, what he told is he healed his son who stays in US, right? Boston, yes, yes. Boston, Boston, US. And he had the, like uh, some wound and the doctor said it will take 21 days, but he healed in just seven days, Yes, which is a really miracle. Just imagine the people nowadays, they are doing many courses on Reiki, other healing, like pranic healing, access bars, so many things, even they could not heal themselves. Forget about healing other people. They could not heal uh, themselves. But now the true, true healer is someone makes realize the healing power within them. Yes, yes. That's a true okay. healer. Okay. And we all want to be like that. We want you to realize your own healing power. Not only healing your health issues, but healing your own relationship issues, issues healing your money issues, healing your business issues. That's what made him so confident, like because he was an employee earlier and in the COVID time, like where every all the businesses shutting down. But in that time, he started his business. Yes. But even then it flourished. He got a uh, 45 lakhs, I think close to 60 lakhs uh, petrol bunk construction project. Correct. That was a truly a miracle. And uh, another pro Patashala project. Okay, yes. uh, so many projects he got even in the COVID time, which were everybody feeling so scared, feeling to uh, uh, having that fear to start anything new. Correct. But he yes. started new and he got opportunities. It's all because of his inner transformation, which gave him so much confidence. And uh, it is a zero investment. I have not invested yes. a single pie, not even a single pie. Everything a miracle only happened. Even yes. now, even now, things are moving without any money. <laughs> That's Still, a beauty. More That's a beauty. More is the witness. Huh. Yes, he didn't have any money. Even he didn't have even a 50 rupees in his pocket when he started Correct. the business. Yes, yesterday I shared to Sagar also one uh, incident that uh, how from 50 rupees, I got 33,000 rupees of uh, all the grocery, petrol and liquor for the family get together. Everything was done through uh, one of my uh, defense person. So all this happened. It's a miracle. Amazing. And next uh, thing what he told is uh, like he was not getting water in his community. He tried all the means. Like yeah. uh, sending rash emails, uh, yeah. you know, speaking, uh, abusing them, the, all the developers, all the community people, like who are authorities, but yeah. nothing has worked. This is why if you do so much of hard work externally, that will not work unless until you change your consciousness, you change your internal, uh, like that. when that shift happens, then the miracles will happen. But all what he was trying is trying to like uh, meet them, trying to give the, uh, you know, what bribe also, but nothing worked out. Nothing and he started abusing, nothing worked out. But nothing will work if you are trying to do externally. But the once he started focusing on himself, then slowly, without paying a single rupee, he's getting 40,000 of liters every month or every week, sir? Every month, every month. Every month, 40,000 liters of water, not only for his house, for entire community who are like yes. close 400 homes. Yes. 1,500 people. Correct. How it all happened? Before he is trying like everything externally, but nothing worked out. Even in his business, even in the relationships also. Like uh, he used to quarrel with Veena ma'am, but now I think it's stopped. Now it's been stop, like uh, I think six last six months. I think right? No yes, quarrel. Like everything stop. very only, joyful, very loving uh, relationships. Only, some, only sometimes Tom and Jerry will be there. <laughs> that will be there. <laughs> that will be there between me and my sister also. Always. Same. Same thing, same thing. Like something yes. Like that. yes. So, so see, this is a live evidence. It's a practical case study. Okay. No matter even I explain, I'll take one hour of time. Even if I explain like going within and uh, if you can change your energy, what miracles can happen. Now you started listening to people who experienced, not just and, and uh, my listening wife has also told uh, how Manjula is managing with you. She has told <laughs> twice, thrice, but uh, in last year, when in COVID mm -hmm. time and after post-COVID, 
then uh, since 6 months uh, she is now silent because manjula has changed me it is not manjula has changed it is me himself he doesn't know because he has not uh, experienced no it is me myself have changed and uh, and uh, people started loving me people started caring me people started and uh, having a good rapport with me with in my coworkers superior so uh, supervisors and in their family Uh, relatives so all changed everything changed because i transformed myself i healed myself so this is what the magic in law of attraction amazing amazing sir so this is what i would say to each one of you just focus on yourself like now maybe immediately you may not see the results in the external world immediately but it doesn't mean nothing is changing there is a lot of shift is happening within you even in the moment even in this moment also a lot of shift is happening within you and that you may not notice it but we mm-hmm. know how much it can impact your consciousness and that's why we always would say this coaching sessions are 1000 times powerful and those who already experienced it you know it <laughs> the 1000 more than 1000% some people would have experienced it that's a power like it's all because the shift happens very immediately very quickly like earlier we used to have uh, shiram mohan sir he used to tell like this sessions are like a soul f- uh, food for our soul like usually we take food for the body like this kind of like what the sessions what you are experiencing every day even the coaching sessions are like a food for your soul yes. and this is and what I, we truly and i close need. my credit cards four credit cards with 55% discount and my mm. liability of personal loan has come down drastically my emi has come down drastically of home loan so all this happened even in uh, getting all this manifestations into reality by working on myself and with uh, very powerful tools guidance support from dr magical manjula otherwise this would have been uh, a really a disaster one for me in my life but as a balanced holistic growth no i really picked up and i am now right in front of you so this is the uh, paradigm shift in my spiritual journey and i am enjoying with uh, now i become a food magnet i am become a fun magnet i have become a magnet for miracles i am now i am becoming magnet for magnet opportunities for opportunities and now i am be- trying to become a magnet for money also so it this happens this is what, what i am expecting in the next few days and today i would like to have one biggest manifestation that i have been nominated for the uh what you call uh, human rights act and anti corruption bureau i am been nominated as uh, karnataka state secretary so this is one of the biggest manifestation happened and i have all, all i always recommend to few people so i have nominated i have recommended dr magical manjula for the spiritual wing to take uh, uh, for the uh, recommended for the karnataka state secretary for the spiritual uh, wing and i have recommended mohan babu also our co-mentor uh, founder of magical manjula academy uh, for the education wing so for, for uh, the member of the uh, human rights act and also for anti corruption bureau so this is one of the biggest manifestation and uh, on tuesday i think uh, manjula has invited uh, the founder president to come to their office and they will have a talk and i think today they had a discussion in the conference call and she is also uh, agreed to become uh, to take over the mantle of karnataka uh, state secretary a post of state secretary uh, for spiritual wing and i think mohan babu also will may agree for the education wing so these three portfolios i have reserved and today i took uh, a charge of the karnataka state secretary amazing thank you so happy for you congratulations and uh, i think it is a, uh, it's a miracle it's a miracle like yes. this it's a miracle it's truly a miracle and this is what happens when you start just focusing on yourself and you don't have to just focus on okay I, you don't have to even ask like okay, i want this i want this everything will start coming to you in abundance was like how arun sir said yesterday it is coming in the eight directions yes <laughs> it is happening it is happening. never even asked he is so he is just allowing now allowing when we when you start allowing many more miracles will happen that's a beauty mm-hmm. of uh, it's a art of allowing focus more on the allowing part not on asking part doing part that we have already done even in that yesterday's meditation she already said the work you have already done now it's time yes. for you to receive and allow receive it. okay yes amazing and yesterday's and, uh, man- is, uh, yesterday's meditation has helped a lot 
Uh, yes, every time you listen to that meditation, your resistance will come down. When your resistance will come down, your allowance becomes more. And when your allowance becomes more, it is the things will start coming to you in such an easy way, which you never even imagined. Like how Sagar got 10K yesterday. That way he never even thought like in which way it it uh, it will come. But he got it. That's how when you are least resistance, the things will start coming to you in an easy way. Otherwise, we have to put a lot of effort, a lot of hard work. And even uh, to surprise like what miracle happened uh, today to my sister, actually she went to Hyderabad to meet my sister because next uh, February 1st week, she is moving to US. And for that reason, she just went and to meet because uh, the, my sister, like son, they are having a one daughter, one, uh, one daughter two, I think two years of daughter and seven to eight years of one son. To meet my sister's, uh, to meet my sister's son and daughter and my sister, my sister went there and she had a very good time there and she was very happy. She was just allowing playing with the kids and she got that opportunity to, because they invited like Suman TV, one of the interviewer just messaged my sister that, hi ma'am, this is, uh, uh, I, didn't, I don't know the person name, like this is uh, so-and-so from Suman TV, uh, like they called and my, they called my sister for interview and which she never even imagined. And you don't have to ask anything because we have asked many times. Okay, God, I want more money. I want house. I want car. Everything you asked it. Now it is coming in the form of opportunities when you are allowing it. Yes. Many miracles will come to you, which you never even imagined. Any miracle ha can happen at any point of time. This Suman TV getting a opportunity in Suman TV, nobody got, I mean, uh, nobody expected like neither my sister nor me, nor my family members, but she got it. It's because she was allowing, she was playing with the kids every day. Like my yesterday, like when I was talking to my sister, she was saying me, I am becoming addicted to the children. Like uh, she's so cute. Like I think some of you have seen her photo, yes. like my sister's daughter. She's very cute and she got addicted to a daughter and uh, she is very uh, spending good quality time and she's spending being in the present moment. And then she was in allowing state because when you are playing with the kids, pets, nature, the resistance will be very, very less. And mm -hmm. it, that is a state where you allow many things to come into your life. And this uh, Arun Kumar already, ex Arun Kumar Masar also already experienced it many times, like how the powerful is connecting to pets, connecting to nature, connecting to lakes. So yeah. powerful it. Okay. Then the resistance will come down. Many more miracles will happen. And to, do not uh, try to think from your logical mind. Your logical mind or your egoic mind always says how it is going to happen, when it is going to happen, is it really possible? how it will happen, when it will happen, through which source it happens, through which means it will happen. We'll all have these questions in mind. And when we have these questions in mind, Abraham says beautifully, you, please write down this, every one of you, thoughts equals to resistance. The moment you have some thoughts, you have that resistance. Uh, that's okay, uh, Sheetal. It's completely all right. You can watch the recording and you can, if you have any questions, then uh, you, we can always discuss in the next coaching session also. That's completely all right because I understand that you are traveling. So you may have some network issues. You can watch the recording. Okay. Thoughts equals to resistance. Whenever you have some thoughts, like I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about my another man, I'm thinking about this goal, I'm thinking about that goal. Okay. I'm thinking about my health. I'm thinking about my relationships. There is some resistance. Thought equals to resistance. So, but when you are in the present moment, when you are in the generous present moment, then no resistance. You are just allowing in state. And there is no thought. When there is no thought, no resistance. Thoughts means we are completely involved in too much of thinking. Even too much of thinking is not good. Okay. And uh, now I think uh, Shilpa is in, in this state now. Like she, st she stopped completely thinking. Now she's had uh, negative thoughts has come down. That is how it is a, just a process. Shilpa. You just have to like uh, what uh, Sagar said yesterday. I just followed. I just followed whatever the practices that we do in the morning session, night session. That's all. He did nothing. Even Shilpa ma'am also. How she got a job in 20 days with a 9 lakhs patch, package. She did nothing. Morning meditation, night meditation, uh, uh, afternoon meditation, morning session, night session. That's all. Uh, no, no other extra work from her side. Just she followed the process, followed all the practices, she got it. Because this gives you so much of uh, inner joy. Once you find that inner joy, that's an expression of your soul. And every one of you nowadays, you are calling self-confidence. 
self worthiness how it is coming it's a you are soul your soul self expression that's why we when we call self confidence how it comes when you are thinking from your mind it will not come lot of doubts will come lot of fears will come when you are thinking from your mind but how the self confidence self worthiness self desirability comes is when your soul express into itself that's when the the self confidence arises self worthiness arises so it is all a shift of your internal consciousness that reflects in your behavior that reflects in your thought process that reflects in your words that reflects in your life itself all you have to do is just go within go within and spend more time understand there and uh, uh, some people will be scared like even the, in the meditation also why many people they are not able to do it because the moment they close their eyes they keep getting so much of thoughts initially that is a first stage like you definitely you would get many many thoughts and that's where when you start being practicing there slowly slowly your thoughts will come down okay and the easiest way we have given it because um, um, in the meditation it is not so not that everybody uh, we uh, everybody will do the meditation uh, proper way because it is a different for different people and the ways what we have suggested it is not that we have suggested abramic suggested as the easy processes to align ourselves with who we truly are to align ourselves with the uh, joy with that inner peace with that inner joy those are like a uh, looking for positive aspects connecting with nature connecting with pets spending time with yourself these are the beautiful processes to connect with ourselves and once you get this uh, connection then that reflects in your life your positive people will come to you everybody will become positive and you you will just you will just surprise like how the people have changed in my life it's all because of the shift in your consciousness all those people we have attracted it it is because of our energy and the when the moment the the shift happens in our consciousness internally you will see people start loving you like how arun sir said like how sagar said like he started working on himself then he could see a lot of changes in his family also his relationship with his wife has changed his relationship with his father has changed how come it has changed so much it is because of the shift shift in the inner consciousness this is a i think this is a what uh, he exactly he uh, did in the interview also today's interview like she explained in depth about that soul consciousness okay uh, this is the ultimate truth like what we uh, talk about that nirvana shatakam that is the ultimate truth that is that ultimate reality vedanta the essence of vedanta is that nirvana shatakam vedanta means veda means knowledge anta means end end of the knowledge end of the knowledge means not end that is the ultimate knowledge ultimate truth about our life and uh, like what we experience in law of attraction just very that uh, very on a basic level is we also do it it's because as a physical being we also want to manifest our desires and without manifesting desires and we we will not be able to go deep within ourselves because those desires will not help us to connect with ourselves and that's why we teach first law of attraction then slowly we teach spirituality it's because with a when there is a unfulfilled desire then you ne ne you never even really think of like going deep within yourself understanding yourself how many of you agree with this yes because when our desires yes, are sir. unfulfilled we keep thinking about that desire okay where is my money where is my health once you start getting it like money good health good relationships that's when you get more time to go within understand yourself so it is come it is all right to have desires and to manifest your desires nothing wrong about the manifestation also you can have desires to have more money you can have desires to have a loving relationships you can have desires to be a healthy person rich person abundant person luxury person it's completely all right nothing wrong about it the fact that you born take in this physical life it's supposed to feel good for you <laughs> okay this is what abraham x uh, says the fact that you have taken this physical life this life should supposed to feel good for you and whatever you want to have whatever you want to experience and you ha have to experience it and the only the easiest way to experience is just aligning uh, our, our self with our inner self then the 
outer manifestations becomes very easy and in fact you don't have to do any hard work the hard work the effort you already done it you are now all your job is to just to allow and receive it that's your only job okay tell yourself that now i am allowing and welcoming miracles allowing miracles and welcoming miracles and what miracles can happen any miracles can happen at any point of time wouldn't it be nice if miracles happens? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, correct, right? So let, let, let the miracles happen. Our life should be a miracle. Our life should be a magic. And yes, it is a magic. It is a miracle like uh, you're all experiencing. Maybe in different forms, but you're all experiencing the magics and miracles. Now, this experiencing this magical state or a miraculous state is our natural state. Okay, and not with the having the pain, that suffering, challenges, problems, those are not actually our true qualities. Yes, when we think from this physical perspective, uh, perspective, all this will lead to, to that state only. All this help us to go into that right direction. Just imagine without the problems, without the challenges, would you really even ever imagine like I have to do something like this, I have to work on myself? I thought no one, even including me. Like maybe you, you some, some of you might be thinking he's so uh, at engage, he learned many things. Like, like even I went through many problems, even my past life also, I don't know like what kind of problems I went through. Maybe that, maybe like uh, that uh, um, miserable part, that horrible part is maybe over. That's why now I realized. So all those problems and challenges, it's guiding us to that right place to that right time so all those problems and challenges are guiding you to the right place and time that's completely all right to have the problems and challenges in fact those are not problems and challenges it's a expansion it's a continuous expansion and this expansion becomes easy when you start practicing its spirituality uh, the right word for this uh, uh, conclusion is the joyous expansion why we are here for the joyous expansion Expansion is inevitable. Whether you're practicing spirituality, whether you are not following practice, practicing spirituality, the expansion is inevitable for everybody. And that expansion, that growth becomes easy and joyful when you start learning about yourself, when you start learning about the law of attraction, when you start learning about the spirituality, that expansion becomes joyous. That's why, like, if you watch any of uh, Abrahamic's videos, it is so much of fun. Even out of the serious situations, he makes it so fun. Yes. <laughs> okay. And, uh, like, to give you a few examples, he says, like, uh, my husband is troubling me. One lady asked the question to Abrahamic. She says, if I would have been in your shoes, I would have given divorce. <laughs> because she says, uh, nothing is more important than feeling good. Your feeling good should be your first priority. When you're feeling good is not your first priority and you're trying to do uh, everything for everyone, but you're not doing anything for yourself. How right is that? Because the fact that you have taken this physical birth, you must feel good and you must experience that joy. But if you're not experiencing it, nothing is important than feeling good. She says this is only one statement. It's not about like uh, what she meant is not to leave other family members, but focus on the feeling good. Focus on yourself. Focus on the joy part. Then the everything, what we are desiring, what we are asking, it is always coming to us. Always. Not one time, not two times. It is always coming to us. Maybe with this physical eyes, we may not be able to see it. Maybe with this, our brain, with this physical body, we may not be able to notice it, recognize it. But deep down, the things are always working out. Deep down, write down every one of you. Maybe externally, uh, in your life, maybe things are maybe going worse externally. But deep down, things are always working out for you. Even out of that situation, what you think it is a very um, horrible or terrible situation, even in that situation also, something good is going to come for you. Something magic is going to happen. But maybe for temporarily, for that period, we may not be able to see or understand what the magic is. Like uh, to give you our own example, like take your own examples. Like maybe in some years back, 
some maybe some months back some situation happened and now if you are remembering that situation you you are really grateful for that situation how many of you could uh, relate to this yeah. when you go yes, back and yes, collect yes. those moments those experiences those uh, events those memories now if you remember oh okay because of that only i am here because of that only i learned many things i am i am here now it's because of all those situation but when we are when we were in that situation at that point of time we didn't understood anything okay why god is doing like this me why god is punishing me usually this is how our thought process usually but now when we recollect because now we are in a very relaxed state like we, now we are we don't have any so much of negative emotions about our past which happened some negative situation which happened one year back or 10 years back but that resistance has come down but at that point of time uh, our resistance is more because we don't know what to do we are confused lot of fear lot of anxiety lot of stress but now when you are calm that's why like uh, uh i would really appreciate arun sir for uh, this because yesterday that's what he guided actually to sagar he was in such a state but he could not focus he don't know uh, what to do also in that situation first he told to relax yourself first relax yourself then he had given some meditation given some affirmation and uh, this is a, this is what exactly it's a coaching is all about okay and uh, yes everything is working out for you no matter what's happening around you that that will not define who you are as a person please remember this don't let any situation don't let money don't let people decide who you are who you are as a person is complete whole and abundant your money situation cannot define who you are this is actually usually this is what we do we allow our money situation to define or decide our uh, inner state or inner happiness inner joy inner peace because of all our external problems and challenges we start losing our inner peace and joy which is not at all correct because all those moments will pass away even happy moments also will pass away even the painful moments also will pass away both are not going to be permanent what is permanent is going to be our consciousness and the only way to get miracles is to focus on that consciousness change that consciousness go within deep within yourself understand who you are and when you start just focusing on yourself like who am i that's where the spiritual journey begins the beginning step for you to enter into the spirituality you when the moment you get the question who am i that's when like for some of you i think the step has been already completed because that's the reason you are here okay who am i what is this life i think uh, there is a life beyond all these problems and challenges you thought it because of that you are here for other people they think that having this problems and challenges it is very normal and they continue to live like this but do you have decided that no there is a life beyond this there is a life beyond this problems and challenges so now i want that inner joy i want that inner peace you have decided and that's why you are here 99% of the people they are in this loop that when they get any problem money problem health problem relationship problem they think it is normal because they because we have been start observing our parents because when they get any problems they think it is normal and we also when we get any problem money problem health problem relationship problem business problem career problem we think it is normal and we continue to live like that many people they continue to live like this they think it is normal having a uh, problems and challenges is normal whereas it not it is not normal obviously it is not normal do you think that like uh, having some any of the like wounds in your body is it something normal obviously not we want a healthy body even like for us like as a soul we must experience that feeling good we must experience the joy the good health the good food is for the body and uh, the joyful experiences is for the soul the joy and the inner peace which is very very important and uh, i always uh, take this example of my sister not example she always gives this example okay and when 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 the when anybody dies we say rest in peace yes or no everybody says rest in peace and we only think about peace when somebody dies what about the peace when we are alive Uh, this is a very uh, i think uh, for me uh, this one statement has made me so much of difference 
really and it was very uh, um, i would say turning point i would say turning a statement for me for my life usually even like uh, I, in the coaching session like initially i used to join my sister coaching session also i heard her i heard this statement from her it is true when we are alive we never even really think of peace but when somebody dies we all put okay rip rest in peace rest in peace okay now you need peace but when we are alive when we are into this physical body we never even really think of peace inner peace inner joy and when we recognize we recognize only the soul after his death like to to whom we are saying that rest in peace the body is dead it is buried already it is burnt already to whom we are saying that rest in peace to then we think that oh soul then the soul comes into picture when we are alive uh, so do you think that when you leave this body you will have a soul but when when the soul is in body we never really recognize we never really notice it but now you have become so much powerful you have become uh, like many miracles are happening in your life it's all because you just started noticing the soul within you the power the consciousness within you that's what making you it's not me or my sister we are just guiding but the true miracles are happening it's because of the shift in your consciousness not because you attending this class is not because because the practice are same everywhere what kind of practices what we do here is it is there in the youtube also but still why they are not able to uh, change themselves not able to transform themselves it's because it is just information they are trying to understand on a mind level they try to implement on a mind level because we are not the mind that's where many people watch lot of videos read lot of books attend many courses but even then no much results no much great changes in their life it's because unless until the the shift happens internally on a conscious level, level nothing will change all you have to do is just focus on yourself focus on the changing that inner consciousness i know it is a process and uh, sometimes it will be like feeling sometimes boring monotonous sometimes we don't like doing it and that's completely all right come out of you when you don't like joining the classes that's completely all right uh, sometimes one or two days is you, you skip it the, like why i am asking you specifically to skip the classes then you realize how important the classes are that's how important okay even like uh, even when we go to any uh, out stations like when we go for a vacations and all we may not be get a chance to like uh, do proper meditations because we don't find such a environment and we realize then okay how important is to have a right environment and right practices okay and those are all required and uh, it is gives us more clarity on what we have to do it every single day and uh, yeah i'm sure i've uh, taken much of much of your time and every one of you might have got clarity about uh, the life the life is very simple very easy life is not so much serious don't take your life so much serious if you take your life so much serious your life becomes more serious nothing wrong is going in your life nothing serious is going in your life nothing problems are happening in your life everything is happening in the divine order divine time everything is in the harmony everything is in alignment so just what you have to do just chill relax enjoy. and enjoy <laughs> okay that is our only job when we are uh, relaxing when we are just enjoying we are in the talowing state in that okay let me change my camera just give me a minute it's very true so basis of our life is freedom this is a uh, um, what i would say the fundamental aspects of our life fundamental principles 
of our life is the basis of our life is freedom and the purpose of life is joy and the result of is joyous expansion all the time we are expanding joyously okay and now if you have any of you have any questions related to any topic uh, this is the time you can ask me uh, because since we didn't had yesterday uh, uh, q and a session now any any of you have have any questions related to health health or relationships money career business job or manifestation mm -hmm. uh, this is the time you can ask me you can utilize this opportunity any of you have any questions arun sir shilpa sagar kartik sir kartik sir you have started i think you are started great any of you have any questions shilpa you have any questions shilpa you are on mute sir no sir are you clear yes sir sir one doubt sir sir can you explain how to manifest but i think i am manifesting water manifesting is there no sir mm. uh, can you explain me clearly sir how to manifest that i mean about the water process water manifestation it's, a, it's a water manifestation sir first what do you want to manifest no sir be uh, be off of my sir daughter health health issues i should man but i am manifesting sir but i am not finding so much result what oh, i uh, what arun sir told no sir so mm. i am excited to ha uh, because he, he practiced you know he practiced for more than a year or uh, it's been 18 yeah, months yeah. now so a lot of shift happened within him and which made uh, this process very easy for him and uh, yes even for you also it happens first thing is you need to believe in that process to get the confidence like because you have to see evidence in your life because he noticed many changes in his life so he got a confidence yes this process works and uh, this this process works this uh, the water meditation works he had that belief he had that conviction he had that confidence which made him to get the results nothing else because his is energy when he is so confident his energy is so high his uh, his vibration is so high and which made this process very easy for him even you can also do it for your and daughter like, what you, you need to visualize to exactly? you have to visualize also uh, shilpa you have and to I'll visualize i tell you like uh, how to follow this process is it is very simple nothing complicated it's because everything is energy first you need to believe that everything is energy yes. then only you can heal your daughter or yourself when you think that okay your daughter is separate you are you are separate and it happens only when you into that oneness consciousness that everybody is one everybody is connected but if you are doing this process from the feeling of separation oh my daughter is there i am here there is a lot of separation lot of distance we are not living with there is no time there is no space there is no reality and once you realize this then and once you know that everything is energy once you know that we are all connected not an only people even with the things also connected you are you are relationship to your vehicle also is connected your home also is energetically connected and yes. once you start uh, realizing this i am one with everybody i am one with everything then this water process becomes easy for you water manifestation okay. but if you are doing from a place of separation that okay my daughter is separate okay i can i really uh, do it for her then you can know in that place from that place you may not be able to do it so well even if you do it you may not see the great results for that to happen you must in the you must be in that oneness consciousness that i am one with everything everything is energy okay sir. and by changing your energy you can radiate that energy to other people also if you do from this perspective trust me you can heal your like your daughter's fever by today itself by now itself yes sir okay what you have to do is first you have to take the glass of water or any bottle and there is a process which is a guided process you all you have to do is follow that process and you have to tell the affirmations what exactly you want you want your daughter's typhoid typhoid fever to you you want her your daughter to come recover from that typhoid fever typhoid fever yes sir and for that you don't have to focus on the typhoid fever what you have to say is 
I'm so happy and grateful for my daughter's good health. Healthy body. And I'm so happy and grateful that my daughter's each and every cell of her body is happy, healthy, joyful. Now we are going little deeper, each and every cell. Because each and every cell has a, beside that, when you when you break the tissue, if you see in a microscope, you first you will see the uh, like organs, body organs. There is a skin behind that. There is a bone. But behind that bones, there is a cells, and cells. behind that cells, there is tissues, and behind the tissues, there are some uh, atoms or particles, and behind that particles and there, it is just energy, nothing else. Yes. Yes. With that everything that which makes the form. Or a what we call is a shape, shape of our body. How it made? It made up of organs. It made up of uh, tissues. It made up of cells, which is made up of again particles. It it is made up of atoms, protons, neutrons. What atoms and protons are made up of? Energy. Energy. Yes, sir. Okay. This is this is a science. This is a science behind the healing process. And once you know the science behind all this water process, then you'll understand that everything is energy. Like before this glass has a form, how it was, it has no form. It was in the, it has no form, which is formless. With that formless, which is an energy that made into this shape. Okay, and uh, to if we if we break this glass is just a powder. Yes, sir. If we break that, if you see that powder also with the microscope, it is just some energy. That glass which, which will go through that healing like uh, that process, right? They will heat that glass, that powder, which converts into the glass. And how it with the with the we we use some uh, they use some uh, you know energy or that uh, electricity to charge, to heat that powder, which converts into the glass. Same way, that's how we, our cells has formed. That's how the organs has formed. That's how the skin, that's how the bones, that how the hair, body, skin color, everything has formed. So the deep rooted thing is what we have is just that consciousness, that the energy. It's a pure vibration, pure consciousness. Pure energy. And once you understand this, from this perspective, the water manifestation, you don't have to become a healer or you don't have to go through any healing course to heal yourself or your family members. Okay? It is such an easy process if you understand this uh, science, science behind. And why I'm uh, uh, explaining the science also, the science aspect also, because to convince your subconscious mind. Otherwise, <laughs> Everything is consciousness. Everything is that eternal consciousness. And when I explain it with the science, because sometimes I'll try to explain with the science also, with the proof of science, so that you'll start believing in that process. So everything is energy and we are all one. We are not separate. And if you do from this perspective, it is, again, I think you can heal your health issues also. You can heal your daughter's health issues also. Take the glass of water. Now you have to do it. Take the glass of water and uh, you can, you have to follow. In the recordings, I have given you that water manifestation. Take the glass of water. Give the intention that my daughter's health is, my daughter is happy, healthy, joyful, peaceful. Her each and every cell of her body is also happy, healthy, joyful, peaceful. Tell this one affirmation for three times. Give the intention and just follow that process. Come out of that, either you drink by yourself or you give it to your daughter. Yes. Then you see the shift in her health. It is very quick. It is very immediate. When the shift immediately happens in your, and you will notice it, the shift happened. Like you, you, in your consciousness, the shift happens. It, the shift will happen in her body also. Because everything is energy. When that shift happens within you, you will start seeing the miracles in her health also. And okay. she can visualize also. Her daughter is feeling better and better every day. Like that she can visualize. You can visualize yes. your daughter 
by visualizing also by chanting the affirmation whatever uh, through guided medita meditation which you have that power to visualize or imagine yourself that your daughter has come out and she is feeling very well she is having all um, or uh, playing uh, with you playing with others and having a normal time so this is all also the better way of uh, visualizing that she is already come out of all that uh, typhoid uh, situation and everything is okay thank you sir the more you visualize no uh, things will be more uh, better for you and for your daughter also i think okay, it will sir. work definitely it will work okay sir. thank you sir many practical case studies it worked for everybody yeah. it is working for us it is working for everybody and it works and it yeah. must work it is a law yes. law yes, yes. sir because yeah. i i actually visualize my son's palm keeping my as if his palm is there with me through the guided meditation i just followed and every day i used to visualize that yes his stitches is getting uh, dried quickly and uh, i am seeing i am seeing in my inner self by seeing the palm i visualize then i used to ask him to send the video and the video which i got it was also matching to my uh, water manifestation okay. result so that is the way i found that yes it is working because he is there somewhere uh, mm. abroad and uh, i am here so i did distance healing which is not so easy actually but yes. it, it was a miracle because of this uh, law the law says that yes water manifestation works for exactly uh, for the family actually we should take permission if we are doing for others i, I believe correct mohan we should take others yes. Yes, since uh, it is her daughter, she can do it. You know, without yeah. permission. Also, as a mother, she has that permission to heal <laughs> yeah. the daughter. Uh, no, no, I am telling for uh, if you are doing for others. Yeah, you yeah others permission. have to take their permission because not everybody. Because some of the souls, they may not be ready. They may not be needing yes, this uh, healing because they need to Correct. go through that uh, uh, challenges, problems, so that they will realize it. That Only if they are ready, you can do it. Even if you if you do water manifestation by others, it will not work until unless you take permission yes. from them. Yes. Okay, so for uh, doing others, yes, definitely you have to take their permission. permission. And for your for doing for your family members, you can do it. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes, and uh, we were, tomorrow I wanted to hear from you that my daughter he like like she is completely uh now she is completely happy she is completely healthy I want to hear from you first you need yes, to sir, be let, let's now let's... even now I think I believe that there is some shift happened like in your consciousness yes, which will no definitely... sir actually what Arun sir told no sir I am uh, curiosity to listen what he did that's it sir <laughs> that's what i visualized that every day mm. no he is getting better and better and the stitches have already been healed that means he had 11 stitches and even doctors told that 21 days it will take because it was a winter season and uh, he was not able to write properly because of the wetness no and that yes, uh, sir, yes, sir. Uh, so it's very difficult so this uh, even my son was surprised that it is healing very fast when doctor himself is uh, uh, with confidence is telling it will take 21 days so you come every three days have the dressing changed but and fortunately for him there were only two dressings actually that there should have been at least seven to eight dressings eight dressings yes sir uh, eight dressings so it was all a magic miracle only so, and then only he knew that yes law of attraction works until unless he was always telling no no yeah, i don't believe in this i don't believe in that even but, daughter, she will also yeah. not believe in this. Sir. That's, no, first you have to believe yourself. No, you sir, have... I will believe, sir. Huh. So yeah. I am here, sir. That's why when you believe yourself and believe in the mentor and believe in the universe and believe in the technique, what uh, uh, that water manifestation. So all these four will actually manifest uh, in a better uh, way in the external world also. So first it has to manifest emotionally. So once you manifest emotionally, the things will automatically fall in line in the external world also because inner world creates the outer world and definitely should work. You can try today yes, also. Today, at yes, least, sir. Uh, definitely. I will go and try and, now only, sir. And, drink, oh, and yes. drink, drink water yourself and also give that uh, water to your daughter also because water is energy okay, and it is a mantra, what you call, uh, we tell as uh, Rikinantara, uh, what Mohan will tell for that. Uh, it is a sacred uh, holy water. Yes, when we tirtha, like when we go to temple, tirtha, 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 tirtha,
uh, they'll energize that water they give the chantings they give the mantras with that powerful mantras it becomes powerful and yes. for that you don't have to really go to any uh, like uh, for that uh, a person to do specifically you can do by yourself because every one of us is a very powerful soul every one of us is a powerful creator we are the god tatva masi aham brahmasmi and uh, yes understanding it yes tatva masi means like we, i can say oh you are that god i am that god for uh, just for speaking terms like for understanding terms it is so easy but we need to realize it it's a spiritual it's, it's all about the realization when that realization happens results are quick results are immediate okay yes. okay and sir. practice it regularly and i really really appreciate you because when we had that first uh, uh, session did you remember sir morning yes, session yes. i will not be able to join the session but you every day you are joining without miss yes sir that is a beauty this energy pulls like this is a being of being in a com positive community even though sometimes you feel little low because of the situations and all this energy is it pulls and gives you tremendous uh, the positivity tremendous joy tremendous courage confidence it's a soul expression all the positive emotions or the soul expressions okay and practice it is worth spending i think 30 minutes in the morning 30 minutes in the night and uh, i do i i because we, we when when um, when when we get any health issues we don't give excuses right no i cannot take the medicine to doctor like how the same way it re, now it is like that is a reactive mode when something happens then go to doctor take the medicine that is a reactive approach here it's a it's proactive we are not waiting for some situation to happen then we realize oh i am the god no <laughs> okay uh, now we are learning it like proactively like we are learning it we without the negative things without any disturbances hindrances now we are realizing who we truly are and now we can experience such a magical life such a beautiful life such a miraculous life i think life is full of joy full of fun full of uh, peace full of yes, abundance yes sir yeah okay. just all you have to do is just trust and know that uh, uh, you are not doing anything like uh, from the physical perspective from your soul is, your soul is so powerful and you being as a mother even like a mother earth how the mother earth is so powerful it is taking care of the entire world entire, entire uh, universe the mother earth same way you when you are powerful as shakti like we pray to shakti right god is shakti even you are same as shakti you have that shakti you have that energy within you and it that's what it's a realization about that yes i am that energy i am that shakti i am that shiva that's what right in the nirvana shatakam i am the shiva you are that eternal shiva you are that blissful form of shiva so we are that shiva shiva means it's not a, any a form any identity no that's not shiva shiva has no form yes sir okay and uh, why we don't have any uh, a form of shiva we have only the uh, like linga. linga linga we will see right in every time yes, there is actually i researched about this also i found very interesting facts about this uh, why in temples in the shiva temple especially we don't see a shiva statue we see only linga because that linga when the uh, you know researchers has found that interesting facts about this linga it's actually it's not a form it's just a energy it's just a pure vibration and it's in it's nothing okay when they observe when they start finding that and if you if you notice also in the down path like one third of the bottom is brahma and the second th like two third is in the middle middle if you see it will be like this that is uh, vishnu and the upper part if you see like this it will be like this that is a shiva brahma shiva. vishnu maheshwara that represent that is a representation of all the creature creation yes, so that we are not treating something with the form or identity it is a energy which creates this world yes sir and for us to know that it is just an energy no form no identity for us yes it looks like some form it looks like some ling of some shape but it has no shape this this it is what created the entire universe the brahma like we all say creator vishnu is the sustainer which sustains this entire world entire universe and the maheshwar is the destroyer destroyer of not a destroyer of the sins 
destroyer of all the negativity even like why we pray to shiva shiva is again don't call take it as a god why we pray it's because he is a destroyer of all the negativity okay that is a form of that linga linga means it's energy from next time when you go to any temples she see that shape or any statue as a energy and remind yourself that even i am that energy which creates this entire universe before like what uh, we see now homes laptops mobile phone before it was just an energy that's turned into the form even like before we are in the mother's womb what we were we are just that you know sperms which is just energy everything is just energy that made that took place into the form into the identity but is this who we truly are no we are that uh, consciousness the deeper self is that pure energy pure consciousness the pure vibration that's what we truly made up of and now since we have taken this physical uh, birth now we try to identify oh i am mother i am father i am this body i am this mind i am my life i am my relationships i am my business i am my money situation which turns that energy turned into physical form or shape and we identify with this shape or form so in the nirvana shatik model so there is no form we are formless beings there is no form there is no identity we are that eternal consciousness we are that eternal shiva shiva means it's a formless it's a pure energy and uh, there is a saying also um i think i saw in the bal ganesh movie um in the bal ganesh movie there is a story like uh, parvati is was little worried like when uh, shiva was carrying one lady uh, because she was very in the uh, depressed state and shiva was helping her and she turned her legs to shiva parvati was so uh, di little disappointed because that lady turned her legs to uh, towards shiva then parvati felt little disappointed then she went to that woman and asked why you turned your legs to shiva because shiva is here then that lady told shiva is everywhere tell me where is not shiva so that i turn my legs there <laughs> then she felt so much of uh, she realized that's when the, she realized that shiva is everywhere and we cannot see that okay here there is no shiva no shiva is everywhere that energy is everywhere the vibration is everywhere either you take uh, religion either you take spirituality either you take anything vedantas upanishads this is the only truth this is the ultimate truth even religion is not wrong but the how the now the world is portraying the religionism is that is wrong how they are portraying they portraying that okay god is different from us just just because they are portraying it doesn't mean that but everything everything on the deep down it is that pure energy pure consciousness religion is also one nothing wrong about the religionism either you can follow anything every religion says the same thing even the muhammad also says same thing jesus also same says same thing shiva also says same thing krishna consciousness also same say same thing no religion is separate and every religions the essence is same different forms like how you and i different form different color we speak different languages our tone is different the way we speak is different our walking style is different so our religions looks like to be different but on a deeper level how we every one of you say that we are all energy we are all connected same way all religions are same the essence is same but Uh, which the form which took place are in different forms that's all it doesn't mean that uh, it is different all the religions are same all the people are same we are not separate from each other or we are not separate from any religion or we have that only one religion the roots are roots are directed into that essence but now the how the world is portraying in such a way that 
it looks like to be it's a different thing but uh the ultimately i studied this because what is this form what is this link why uh, even though why uh, shua is has that form why uh people keeping as linga in the shua temples i do a lot of research okay i'll keep sharing with you i'll found interesting facts about it it has a brahma vishnu maheshwara which creates the entire universe which is just energy okay and we are forming because even the shua don't want us to treat him has some form that's why uh, maybe like knowingly or unknowingly we treat uh, the linga as shiva which has no form at all that's what he want like he want us like shiva the god wants us to uh, understand that everything is energy and uh, now from next time next time when i when you go to temple don't see just this the statue there see the energy there and you will realize that same energies exist within you also that is a representation of all the temples that is a representation of all the gods not that we are separate from that we have to go there to get to moksha and all we are already we got that moksha we are already liberated beings we are already in that nirvana state only thing is that realization has to happen only on a mind level we think that we sub, we are separate but on a deeper level we are all same okay and uh, we are not different from anyone even like uh, i want you to when you were you go to any temples and not only any temples okay whenever you meet someone just see their the formless being within them and ekot tolle says that see the being like that's why we call it as not as a humans but with the we are all human beings that being what uh, being means it is continuous being is continuous then where, where is the end where is the beginning where is the end to that being we call it as human beings then we call it as death and birth it is just that energy taking into another form that's all taking into that shape but it has we are that being the being means we are that eternal consciousness no matter you you just bring it to me whomever the master whomever the sub whatever the concept whoever whatever the religion i'll prove it to you that everything is energy at the on a essence a deeper essence everything is same i'll prove it to you 1000% i can make i can give you the promise you bring me any religion you bring me any teacher you bring me any concept you bring me any idea i'll prove it it is that the essence is same different forms and different shapes it doesn't mean that it is separate it is just one okay no god is separate no temple is separate no religion is separate no person is different from us we are all one we are all connected we are all we are that eternal beings okay and uh, there is so much of power even when i while i'm sharing with you i could feel that so much of energy the shift is within me the and shift this is happens. the mantra this is the mantra used in the recent uh, peace and conflict resolution for uh, Uh, this afghanistan ukraine uh, by ravi shankar guruji mm, mm. he has used this as concept as oneness and also what you told no about this uh, linga mm. uh, the same concept uh, he has used because we are all on the religion especially the religions no that is all one it's all oneness so i think uh, this is the mantra which has succeeded in many of the peace and conflict resolution uh, in the global level yes once everybody understands that then we'll have no fights between one country to another country we'll be and we don't need to invest so much of money in the you know army in the navy forces and all okay and but it is required for us to go through this evolution process go to this expansion process so yes. nothing wrong even that don't uh, you try to think that okay i have to change the world no the world is the perfectly it is the way it is it is the perfect the way it is nothing went wrong nothing undone nothing is injustice and uh, usually when we come to spirituality we'll have this you know uh, the quest for sharing this knowledge with the quest for uh, changing the people you initially we had that and we are thinking that we are trying to fix the world but is there something wrong going to fix it no it appears to be like that yes or no it appears to be like that it doesn't mean that something is going wrong it appears to be like that but we could not initially we could not notice the uh, the deeper essence we are just uh, uh, focusing on that what appearing 
and we uh, think that that was real but that was not real then that's when the moment we stopped uh, trying to change the world trying to change the people that's when we started focusing on ourselves and that is the only and you as a even the spiritual practitioner you don't have to change anybody all you have to do is change yourself and that radiates to automatically to all the people around you and you can change the moment you change yourself your family changes your community changes and that's how everybody could impact this whole world global coherence global coherence and social coherence personal coherence when that personal coherence happens automatically the social coherence will be uh, beautiful and when that social coherence happens global coherence will happen it all starts with you yes it all starts with us universal it starts with us it's a wonderful meditation universal peace meditation yeah for some reasons we stopped it and uh, we are trying to make some changes in that uh, uh, in the meditation also because uh, there is something wrong we identify late, little later on uh, that uh, we are trying to uh, you know fix people we are trying to heal people and instead of uh, you know we sending the peace we will just allow allow this yeah. world allow this universe to be at own pace okay and we, before like uh, designing this meditation what our thoughts was okay there is something wrong with the world so we need to try to fix it but later on our consciousness has changed so now we are trying to bring it in a different way okay, okay. Uh, it's all about ex- expansion even we are going through that expansion evolution process and uh, it is yes it is there for everybody this process everyone must go through this but uh, this evolution process becomes so much easy so much joyful when we are practicing it when we are not practicing it and everything will be very hard everything will be very uh, painful very suffering and so, the objective of this spirituality is to put a full stop to all our suffering and pain yes and when when we start studying that we can uh, the f- first thing is i don't know whether uh, first thing is what you will notice the moment you start practicing spirituality is first you free yourself from all that uh, problems and suffering you feel lot of relief you feel lot of peace yes then uh, you'll start seeing all the manifestations are coming on your way first that is a shift happens even this is what i've noticed when i uh, started spiri- uh, uh, started practicing spirituality or law of attraction i found uh, so much of joy which i never really uh, got with any of the external pleasures like with the money with the luxury with the relationships that's the true joy which i found within me and since then like uh, now i'm practicing it without leaving it like every day is even my friends notice started notice they uh, how much i have changed uh, they started telling me like how much i have changed these are their notice what the change i noticed and then i i realized okay i have worked on myself so much okay they also started explaining i felt so good uh, today and uh, very amazing very beautiful life is so beautiful now and uh, i cannot express in words words are very short to explain how beautiful the life is yes when you think that problems are there yes of course problems are there but the problems will no longer affect us that is a beauty in that spirituality whether something irrespective of your situations irrespective of your problems and challenges still you can be more peaceful still you can be more joyful that's a beauty of all these practices please do practice your join everyday classes and uh, please do uh, be consistent with the classes join regularly attend all the sessions practice all those i um, mean all the processes enjoy it embrace embro- embrace the process enjoy the process and trust the process and expect miracles okay so that is a conclusion and any questions or anything before we close any of you want to share anything today we talked about a uh, little about uh, the religionism also about the linga about uh, that uh, uh, temples are representation of energy nothing is nothing much no form no shape that's the one thing which i want you to keep in mind next time when you visit any temple uh, those are the just a representation of energy not representation of any god any form no form no identity no shape just as energy representation of energy centers that's why the old in uh, um, Mm. what we say uh, the golden people uh, they made they built uh, the energy center in each and every village now we have taken it for granted 
okay those are all energy centers which is you know uh, keeping us uh, the village entire village entire community entire town entire city happily peacefully in the harmony those energy centers so please do respect the religion no matter which religion you are following whether it is christianism christianity whether it is hinduism whether it is buddhism whether it is uh, muslim uh, like um, uh, jainism sikhism whatever it is following it respect it because those are all energy centers even the churches even the mosques or the energy centers even the temples are the energy centers now like there is so much of hype about the pyramids yes pyramids also great energy centers and it doesn't mean that the temples are not everything is energy even we can me our home itself is a energy center point when you there is a shift happening within yourself okay no matter where we go and we would like to come back to here it's because there is so much of energy which is there yes of course it is there everywhere okay and that's when the shift will happen like uh, uh, we'll start noticing that everything is energy and we had gone to the tanjavur when we with that one single stone they have built the entire gopura like which is of uh, cl close to i think more than 100 feet which is they built with only one stone the entire gopuram with one stone okay that was very beautiful experience for me like it was uh, i goggling or like we we'll use that some word right that was like that it was a miracle for me okay i didn't even put my status because i was so immersed myself in that all that experiencing okay um, i studied to share everything in the status but i could not do that uh, maybe because of the driving and uh, i was so immersed uh, immersed myself into all those experiences it's very beautiful just uh, you know if you get an opportunity to experience it experience it and if you're not experiencing it don't uh, regret it okay Uh, because nothing left undone if you are getting an opportunity to do try to explore many things that is completely all right even if you are not also still it is all right so nothing wrong nothing undone nothing left everything is all right everything is perfect and uh, just enjoy embrace your life be grateful for what you have already and be excited for many more miracles yeah. many more miracles are on the way okay tell yourself all the time and I, i i used to tell uh, my sister some some miracle is going to happen even in this situation also and even we like we speak uh, like we discuss my me and my sister we discuss we brainstorm a lot we discuss many things about even the practical like uh, the practical aspects of this nirvana shatakam how we could uh, bring it into daily life i think that's what even i would uh, request every one of you to go through that seven episodes like uh, which is going to release very soon uh, we will we will share that links with you all of you please go through that links and from tomorrow onwards from 8 pm to 9 pm uh, we'll have that uh, session starting like heal your diabetes not only heal diabetes heal your health issues also any of you are uh, want to heal know the science behind it science spirituality law of attraction how uh this we can heal ourselves without any medicines without any diet without any exercises hard exercises and uh, when what happens i'll tell you with the you know diets with the strict diets with the strict exercises we'll try to control when we try to control anything there is a resistance even this is what happened with arun sir also he was trying to control the uh, people like uh, those who are not providing the water uh, in yeah. the community when we try to control someone or something lot of resistance yes then yes. nothing will happen that's where many people they go to gyms they uh, follow strict diet but nothing will change in their life even though they use medicines like even arun sir has uh, uh, taken lot of medicines but he could not find any solution after spending yes. 10 lakhs rupees also yes yes true true so it's because na, when we try to control something uh, lot of resistance don't try to control just allow just allow it and uh, then the miracles will happen in terms of health in terms of money in terms of relationships in terms of business in terms of career success everything we have start noticing it and uh, we have like you you tell me you give me any exact uh, situation or a problem I, we have a practical case study of uh, in our existing members only they have experienced it everything and that's why i we would like you to join this coaching session that's when you will start listening to other people you listening from their experiences their practical experiences how they have overcome all their situations similar to your situations and then you would get so much of uh, conviction so much of clarity so much of guidance then uh, this becomes the journey becomes easy that's why these coaching sessions are very very powerful and uh, 
and i'll see you next week till then enjoy and have fun and uh, uh, i would like to join uh, the morning and night sessions and uh, please do join and uh, please uh, follow it regularly no matter what just allocate yourself every day for 30 minutes of time and uh, definitely you will see the shift shift is already happening within you and the more you start noticing it the more you start recognizing it and that's when uh, you will see the shift in your the shift in your consciousness shift in your energy levels shift in your vibration for that it requires a uh, tremendous of consciousness tremendous of awareness what the shift is happening within you you just cannot notice when your mind is like a um, what you are disturbed like i give you many uh, this example always right if i uh, disturb this water like there are a lot of ripples and waves on the surface even our mind is like that when it is got disturbed we cannot see what the truth inside the deep within but deep within is still and because of this mind uh, ripples and waves in our mind we could not see that uh, deep truth so make sure you are in a very calm state peaceful state even in the chaotic situation just give yourself some time to calm and that's when you will find the solution and the only place where you will find the right guidance right solution is go within yourself even we will not give you any kind of any guidance though we give guidance to connect with yourself to go within yourself to calm yourself uh, to be more peaceful and that's where you get that inner guidance but when your mind is disturbed you take a lot of decisions that's where many people they take decisions when their mind is disturbed and the decisions will go wrong they make lot of mistakes and they realize just calm yourself don't take decision any decisions in hurry just calm yourself relax yourself and then take the decisions those decisions also be will successful even in your professional career also okay and uh, yes with that note uh, thank you so much everyone for joining and giving us an okay. opportunity uh, for guiding you all of you uh, in this beautiful evening today sunday is evening hope you have uh, enjoying every single day for us every day every day is a happy every uh, every day is a happy weekend for us every day is a happy day every day is a joyful day for us we don't have to wait for weekends this is what usually many working people they wait for weekend to enjoy <laughs> for us like every day is a joyful day every day is a happy day for us yes okay yes, thank you thank you so please share the link for the you know that uh, diabetes classes yes i'll add you uh, okay right let me add oh okay i'll add you to all the all of you to the groups and you can start attending uh, the classes from tomorrow onwards please do please do join and uh, i'll uh, add you to the groups okay after the session i'll add you to you yes sir thank so you thank everyone you, sir. thank you so much uh, take thank care you so love much, you all love yourself night, enjoy Bye -bye. good night have a peaceful sleep thank you sir thank you, thank you everyone thank you to thank all you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. good night good night everyone good night, Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye.